All right, we will we'll get started. It's uh, Wednesday Day. It's Wednesday Way Day. You know, today's the day we don't put it officially on the schedule, but I always try to go live once or twice. Um, Wednesdays are the, the days we try to get caught up with all the the stuff behind the scenes, emails and whatnot. Uh, good to have everybody. We've always called Wednesday Way Day, and uh, certainly I sent out a text that said today, hello, Melissa, today we will go over the best diet that I've heard of, best diet bar none, including Shibola, best one I've ever heard of. Um, I, I'm teasing you right now, and we'll get to that in just a few min minutes. Uh, it is by far the best one I've ever heard of, uh, and it will produce the best results. But we'll get to that in a minute. It is Wednesday way day. You're coming off the weekend. Remember that. I, I know everybody knows, but isn't it good to get some reassurance over the weekend? If you're having holidays or hog trough days or whatever you're having, you're going to pull in some fluid. You're going to pull in the weight of glucose, the weight of water. Whether you're starting for the first time, restarting, or coming off a holiday weekend, it takes one to two days to get back into efficient fat burning. But moreover, takes one to two days to get back to the weight that you were. And that's okay because we, we're, we're not taking holidays every day. We, we have, if we live the lifestyle, it's a lifestyle. Doesn't mean we don't slip up. Doesn't mean we don't have snack accidents. It's a lifestyle. We just can't do the wrong thing more than the right thing. So we're going to have those earned holidays and we're going to have some snack accidents. And we're not having that many though. If you, it's a lot, but it really isn't that many. Out of 365 days, if you're trying to lose weight, 72 a year. We're, we're, what else can you do? Think about other strongholds that are in people's lives. Think about that. Can the, can the um, alcoholic, the former alcoholic, can he or she take a day off and have, have some more alcohol? They can't do it. They in trouble if they do, right? A drug addict, one one more, they come, they get clean one more time. It's all on. They in trouble. But with this program, we don't have to be extreme like that. We get seventy two holidays a year. I'd rather them be holla meals, but you could even do holidays. And then when you get into maintenance. 144. That is a huge percentage of your year. That's uh, the Georgia football. Somebody said the other day, quit mentioning, I'm a Tennessee fan. So Tennessee, Crimson Tide, whatever you think, that's those Saturdays. That's uh, going out on date night. That's going to a ball game. Whatever it is, anniversary, uh, birthday. I think we can get in this mentality, though. It's like I – regrettably was in college at times, we want to crash course. You know, I've, I've watched people not do so good. And then all year they've been willy nilly. And then Christmas times when they want to try to be perfect, it probably ain't happening. You know, that's the crash course mentality. But like Jocko says, if I'll try to not take days off, <clears throat> life is going to throw enough days off at me. And with this program, we get a ton of them. Uh, and we shouldn't be in the weight loss mode all the time. We shouldn't be in weight loss mode constantly. We should, we get started. We're serious, serious-minded people. We get to our goal, and, and then we fall into maintenance. And then it's 144 days. You need to tighten up because you've uh, went over your line in the sand number, as I call it. Then you drop it like it's hot. You go right back to, to the six holidays a month, 72 a year. So it's just a mentality. It's just making a decision. This is the lifestyle I'm going to live. I know that I had um, a couple of holidays recently. And as I tell everybody, my, the scales was up almost 10 pounds. Two days later, it's gone. It's just living the lifestyle. Okay. So don't ever get discouraged. If you're following the program, don't get discouraged about what the bathroom scales say. If you're not following the program and you're discouraged. Well, we can fix the discouragement. Just start following the program. The, the weight's going to come off. Before we get into the greatest diet that I've ever heard, it, it may put Shibola thunder. I, but I've got to be, I've got it. 
I've got to be a person of integrity and share with you the greatest. Y'all can feel right now, I'm a terrible jokester. I'm a terrible jokester. Uh, definitely my version of clickbait, right? <laughs> All right, but we're going to get to it. And it is interesting and it does work. But before we do that, are there any nutrition questions, any questions about anything going on on Planet Shibboleth that you need help with, assistance with, modifications with, personalization with, anything at all? The floor is yours for one minute if or longer if nobody says anything only for a minute. Any questions? Or comments? <laughs> All right, everybody quiet. Oh, here we go. Cassava flowers, category two. Cat, whoever iPhone is, it's a category two. You can use that in place of uh any of the, any of those flowers now how it's going to come out taste and texture wise i don't know but you can use cassava mesquite flour they're all pretty much interchangeable so yeah good one that one doesn't come up very much but it's a good one berberine how long should you take before taking a break from it i heard two months on and one month off uh that's you know that's a good uh that that's fine to do um whatever you feel comfortable with. I don't know anything in there that's really going to hurt you. You don't build up that much tolerance to it. Um, you know, I, I don't know how to really answer that. I would stay on it anytime I needed to regulate and manage my blood sugars better until I reached my goal. And then it wouldn't be a bad idea to stay on it uh, because the lower insulin levels we have overall and the more... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not resistance. Uh, but the more sensitive we are uh, to insulin, the better off we're going to be. And it's my understanding that berberine makes you more sensitive to insulin. <clears throat> so you might want to call the company or ask your doctor uh, on, on that one. But two months on and one month off is fine. It's good to take time off of everything but peak. You don't want to take time off peak performance. I've done that and I've regretted it. When I did like, uh, I went over to the metabolic boost uh, for two weeks, it was fine. I love that product, but I come off of peak and I regretted it in about three or four days. So wouldn't come off peak. Are shirataki noodles like miracle rice noodle? Yep, work the same way. They're, uh, they're a freebie on the program or category two, whichever you prefer. Uh, I like miracle rice. Um, they're, to me, they're, they're hard. I don't really like them unless I prepare them a certain way. Uh, I just pull them out of that solution. Uh, I rinse them really good, pat it dry, pat them dry, and then put it in a little bit of MCT oil. MCT oil is like duct tape, kind of fixes everything that's lame tasting. Uh, but yeah, yeah, those are the same thing. When in doubt, look at the calories. Any true miracle noodle, miracle rice, Mushroom-based rice or noodle is going to be almost zero calories. If a recipe calls for one teaspoon of pure maple sugar, would that be fine? Or would you suggest monk fruit? Always suggest the swap. If it's a Shibboleth approved recipe and it calls for pure maple sugar, rest assured if it's in our library, it has enough protein and fiber surrounding it that we're going to be able to get by with it based upon that portion. Uh, do keep in mind when recipes are submitted, sometimes whoever originated that recipe will say, really, we've got to have the sugar in it because it's what sets it off or whatever. So we work around that. Uh, but if it's not a Shibboleth approved recipe, for certain, you need to make that swap. It's one of the first things you got to do because that pure maple sugar is going to cause that fat bust. And if you don't have enough protein and fiber, and even if you do, if it's too much of a serving of maple sugar, you, you just set yourself back two days. So why take risk? Why take chances? Go on and replace it with monk fruit or some other approved sweetener. Monk fruit, I think, is the best. Leaves the 
the least aftertaste as far as I'm concerned. Um, it monk fruit is usually my go-to. All right, Becky's getting information she needs from Lisa. Anybody else? Okay, we'll do this real quick. We're going to take a look at our amazing group of people. This is pretty awesome stuff. Um, we've got Elizabeth promoting, giving us ideas, right? We're doing that photo challenge, fat-free American cheese and an egg. Uh, it looks like a, a approved bun. Ever, that's a really good bun, by the way. Sola approved bun. I guess I'm pronouncing that right. I've seen those come up a lot lately. Terrific, terrific. Cheese and egg. We've got a basic McMuffin there. We've got a Shibboleth approved McMuffin. Definitely a negative weight loss meter. Look at this. We've got uh, Elizabeth. I remember seeing someone post a while back about putting CC in a blender. Does anybody have the recipe? I'm not sure what that one's about, but I have used this before. That's a great Alfredo. Uh, immediately, I'm reminded of a great little recipe using the fiber gourmet peony pasta or the carbonata pasta and just have some Alfredo. Those pastas are high enough in protein. We could just have some Alfredo. Uh, add some crab. If you like, uh, you get that that real, not the imitation, but the real canned crab, rinse it, drain it real good, and have crab alfredo. Use the right noodles. Here's a recipe. It seems my photos this week have sparked a lot of interest. This is the recipe, and my tip is only to make tomato base. So here's a, here's a good recipe. Looks like a lot of good swaps. It's already approved. Starting day three with shakshuka. Again, Terry, correct me if I'm not pronouncing that right. And down 2.3, look, down 2.3 pounds. Delicious ideas. Got a sandwich, Kiera. Four plus two, she done bit into that thing. Four plus two chicken salad. We're not having just regular chicken salad. Shibboleth approved chicken salad with a category two bread. A good negative weight loss meter meal gc control is collar negative three great job this is how we melt body fat uh, off the body like taking a blowtorch to butter i love seeing got pinky jumping in there on the detox think about all the things where you can focus hey stella think about all the things we that we can pick out under our umbrella where you can focus and so much of this is about focus here's pinky doing a detox with the right meal plan Going to get that those adrenal glands reset, get the colon uh, reset. This is good. What do we got here? We've got Deshaun. Just eat your food. Hello? Here we've got Moroccan meatballs made with lean ground beef. Okay, we want 96 percent lean ground beef with cucumber and tomato salad dot with fat-free lemon yogurt she'd be okay here if she had 93 percent lean ground beef too because there's nothing here to spike insulin so i could have if you got in the freezer um some 93 percent lean you'd be fine with that but hopefully this is 96 what what's the difference probably two digits on the weight loss meter probably two digits on the weight loss meter just by going with 96 lean You'd think 93% lean versus 96% lean uh, is not a big difference. It's a huge difference. Visually, if you can think about a pound of ground beef, if it's 96% lean, two-thirds of that package is protein. If it's 93% lean, half of that package is lard. They're not talking about by uh, the calories. They're talking about by weight. And half of that package is going to end up being calories from fat, even at 93 lean. That's why we want to stay away from anything that's not at least 93 lean. Crystal's got some ideas here. Water sandwich, honey mustard, chicken wraps. All of this looks really good. I'm assuming that's approved ice cream. I'm not familiar with that one. Anybody know about that ice cream? Kay's, 
Let's see what we got here. I see some breaded and fried stuff. And, oh, she had a holiday. Never mind. I'm not reading. I love that Crystal posted this. She took a day off. She had ice cream. She had French fries. She had fried chicken, it looks like. She had this, this Danish. Let's stop there. Let's stop there for a minute. So she just had a day where she ate what she wanted to eat. She had French fries, she had fried chicken, she had a Danish, she had all kind of great stuff there. Had ice cream. Y'all, that's part of the program. You get to do that. You just can't do it every day. Now, she goes into that with eyes wide open, I hope, because now she's probably gonna put on four pounds. But is that fat? No, she didn't eat a surplus of calories by like 15,000 calories. She pulled in some water. She pulled in some glucose, probably gained a half a pound of fat. And, and that's nothing. We can get, we enjoyed it. We took a day off. We do not have to obsess about this program. We're doing the right thing more than the wrong thing by the day. Now, to me, I don't know how she's going to feel, but to me, to be able to have that kind of liberty and have a desire at the end of that day to get back to my program, because I always do. Like, if I ate that meal, it's going to taste good, especially them fries. That jumped out at me real quick. Give me them fries and some salt and some ketchup, some mustard. Good gracious, I love my French fried potatoes. Better not call me sling blade. But anyway, I, I love French fries. And I look at that, and I know that those are going to taste good for a few minutes, mouth pleasure. And I'm not, I'm not going to feel good afterwards though. My fit, not just regret, forget that. I don't do that often, but I know physically I am not going to feel well. Has anybody experienced that where you've been doing the program right? And then all of a sudden you take a day off and you think it's going to be a treat and you're miserable for a day or two. You just don't feel healthy. Well, that's what happens when we introduce reintroduce poison. <laughs> but sometimes it's worth it. Sometimes you just got to have your French fries. Look at here. We've got Gail Johnson. We got biscuits, Canadian bacon. Looks like she had two eating episodes, broke a 17 hour fast. I'm not going to fuss at her at all for having the two biscuits. I would say most people, most people, during the weight loss phase, you need one biscuit, need one. But those would fit under two hands. When it comes to sandwiches, hot dogs, and hamburgers, you'll see more of a maintenance day anytime you have you have two burgers or two hot dogs or two, even if they're approved. But I'm not going to fuss because that may be all she ate was those two eating episodes. Let's see. Topped off dinner with cooked apples and monk fruit and spice. So I see the apples. We got some carrots. Topped off dinner. We could keep in mind she works out a lot too. Where is the apples? Yeah, she's got apples over here on the side where uh -huh. she diced them up, and she she's added some monk fruit and some spice. Looks like a dessert. So she's got looks like carrot. No, that's butternut squash. Good. So she's got her pork tenderloin, green beans, butternut squash. This is beautiful. This is exercise on a plate. So she's got a one. That may be a four. I'd have to see the nutritional label. But one, if that's a one, she's okay with the apples. One, two, five. Uh, if she only had two eating episodes for that entire day, even though I think she might have took a little license with portions, she's probably going to be fine. Um, if she had three eating episodes, then this is probably looking more like a maintenance day simply because of the apples and the bread. And I know she doesn't have too much weight to lose. Does that make sense how I unpack that? Do you get why I'm saying what I'm saying? I would call that a perfect day. Um, but because of the apples and the two biscuits, I'm thinking it, and she doesn't have a lot of weight to lose. So I'm thinking that's a maintenance day, which is a victory. That is a victory. 
Got some yogurt here. Love those little triple zeros. What we got here? We got lean stew beef looking good. Bell peppers, rice cauliflower, light string cheese. I love that uh, Bethany called that an eating episode. Patty, patty melt with 96%. Perfect. Beautiful day. She had one. What is this with it, though? Small salad. Okay, it's had a small salad and a patty melt. Everything's looking on point here. Karen got two eating episodes. Zip Slim didn't take a picture of cauliflower crust pizza, which would be good, delicious. Two approved egg salads. So watch out at restaurants for cauliflower pizza. Sometimes it's loaded with fat, uh, but but it's still okay. It's still okay to go that route as long as you control your portion. But uh, I love egg salad, one of my favorite things on the planet. Hey, Terry, uh, did today's huddle up get, we did delete that one. It caused a little bit of controversy. And um, since I'm, I go live a lot, I feel better in my mind when I handle it live um, as opposed to leaving, because I'm really trying to clean this group up so that everybody is uh, one mind and one accord. So if it's something partner business or whatnot that comes up, I'm kind of taking that out. Just just till we get people uh, overall to settle down and peace and harmony to reign again. But certainly if you want to see it, um, Lisa and Lara have access to it. Here's what Terry's got. Look at here, stuffed pepper. Stuffed pepper with rice cauliflower, reduced fat Mexican cheese blend. Beautiful. Two eating episodes, looks fantastic. So I'm gonna pause there. There's my mom. Mom's got boar's head chicken, blueberry solo. But y'all are liking those sola sola breads. Perfect job. And by the way, that she made some of that buffalo wing dip. It's approved in the library with celery. That was the best buffalo wing dip I've had. The best, even at, at restaurants. She did a good job with that. So I'm going to pause there. Does having those meal ideas, were we right? Were we on point? Has that helped anybody seeing that and seeing some ideas? And Hey, Travis, it's Gail. There you are. I thought I was, <laughs> I was on another call and I didn't realize that you were, that you were doing something. And I, I clicked in just as you were going over my meal. Um, yes, the, the, um, the pork tenderloin was a cat one. And yes, I was taking a little bit of license with the apples, but I didn't think about the fact that I had had the two shibby biscuits in the morning. Um, I did only have two meal episodes yesterday. And I am happy to say that I hit my goal this morning. Hey. So wait. my goal weight. So so I'm I'm there. Praise the Lord. Now now with with that new information. And she only had two eating episodes. She did exactly what I would have done. And that, that was also butternut squash. Awesome. Yeah, that was butternut squash. Yeah, that that was perfection. You know, that when we only have one or two, and I'd rather do this. I don't know what you're finding, Gail, but I had rather do this. I had rather get more fasting time and get a little extra portion in my one or two meals. Yeah. It's more satisfying. Mm -hmm. So because you had two eating episodes, that was a perfect day. It's awesome. What I'm, what I, I did, I had two eating episodes Monday. I had two eating episodes yesterday, and I'm on track to have two eating episodes today. Yeah. And um, you know, I'm eating around ten, anywhere from ten to noon as my first episode, and then at six, and, and, and you know, for my second episode, and and I'm not snacking at night, and that's hard for me because that's my downfall. But um, I'm not snacking at night, and it's it's the weight loss is better, and I feel so much better. Yeah, good job, love it, and congratulations again. Thank you. I need prayers on that not snacking late at night thing because I was doing so good, but now I've fallen back into the <clears throat> my old old bad habits. I'm not. I mean, I'm snacking on you know, Quest chips or Quest cookies, you know, but it's still snacking yeah. 11 o'clock at night and I'm not hungry. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I, th I think most of us here probably feel your pain with late night snacking. The minute you get settled down for the day and you're you're with your own thoughts, that's usually when we're looking for the escape. So we we will all be praying for you and praying for one another. That's difficult for all of us, I think, late night snacking. You know, Travis, one of the things that, that gets me is, you know, we eat, we always eat dinner at six o'clock because Max grew up on a farm. They eat dinner at five o'clock. I've at least after 40 years gotten him moved over to six, but you know, we don't eat any later than that. And then even though I can go all day and it doesn't bother me, like you say, you kind of get, you, you're kind of winding down and all. And then I start thinking about, okay, tomorrow morning, especially on Monday and Wednesdays, you know, nights, tomorrow morning, I got to get up and I got to be at the gym at 530. And I know I've got a hard workout and I really, really need to have some little something in my stomach because I'm going to be hungry. But after you get past those few days where you're not doing that, then it, it completely, you know, it's like, okay, I'm, I'm really not hungry. I just think I am. Or if you stand in the pantry and look around at all your different choices of things you could eat, trying to figure out which one you want, then you know, you're not hungry. Yeah. So well, said my, thing, my thing is I'll sit there and go, oh, I'll go ahead and eat this now and I'll just fast in the morning and I'll have to eat till lunch and that'll be my excuse to, to do it, <laughs> which I do. I do not eat. Like I did not eat breakfast this morning. I've not eaten yet today um, to try to balance it out, but I need to stop doing it so I don't have to balance it out. That's right. Very true. And, you know, at least, you know, it all starts with replacing what you used to snack and graze with, with things that will better control insulin. So <sighs> at least you're better controlling insulin uh, because you're using approved snacks. It does make a difference, but you have to eventually break that habit. And we're about to talk about the greatest diet I've ever heard of. And I think it will help you. Well, hurry up. I'm trying to get there. Who was that? Was that Joy or Joan? <laughs> Joan's not. Joan is not going to like this new diet. I'm telling you right now. Shirley, I've been making my own yogurt with Fair Life fat-free milk. Just add one tablespoon of yogurt from the previous batch and put it all in the yogurt maker. Good, good. Sounds good to see. So fat-free milk, yogurt, approved yogurt. All that sounds good. Just control your calories. Penny says drink your ACV shot around 8 p.m. and that will help. Awesome. All right. We're going to get to it. Joan, don't throw anything at me. Okay. <laughs> this is power. This is power. Right. So the best diet for weight loss that I've ever heard of, ever is a program called No. Just say no. Now, I'm not done. I'm, I'm going <laughs> to unpack it a little bit. But just say no. That's so, right. Shanice, all of us, we have the power within to say no. <clears throat> this has been a human condition forever. You know, sometimes... When we're talking about all this stuff and we're learning so much and we have all these questions and how can I do better? What, how do I prevent this? How do I do that? How to just say no. You cannot gain weight without a surplus of calories. Every one of us every day in where we live, we are going to be tempted. Are we not? Yes. There's going to be temptations constantly, all the time. The Bible says, let your yeas be yea and your nays be nay. We just have to say no. I was in a, a meeting with someone the other day that was trying to consult and, and, and help me. And he said, Travis, one of the things that I've noticed is you say, you try to say yes to everything. And, and you can't be successful saying yes to everything. In fact, successful people often say no a lot more than they say yes. So let's talk about that with food. Think about that. Yes, I know it's difficult when you're bored and you're lonesome at night, Shanice, or you've been in pain all day because you've worked and there's no pleasure 
that it's so easy when something you get in the pantry and something's calling your name. You, you open up the fridge and, and then you start thinking about your relationship with it. Do you not? You start thinking about what is my relationship with, with this food like? Well, look, here's some, uh, uh, here's some ice cream, some Moose Tracks ice cream. And me and Moose Tracks has a relationship. And oh my gosh, when Moose Tracks ice cream takes me on a date and takes me out, it tastes so good. But think about bad relationships you've had before. Mm -hmm. Ever had that relationship where there was only a little bit of it that was good and the rest of it made you miserable, but the good was so good you just couldn't get out of the relationship? But overall, it was just rough. It was bad. Isn't that what Moose Tracks ice cream does to you? Isn't that what your Oreos do to you? Like, it's just good for a moment. A moment on the lips, a lifetime on the hips, and all you Sorry, have Ronnie. is say no, N O. Now stay with me. I'll finish. Go ahead. Somebody's gonna say something. No, I was just gonna say at least. The, I mean, my excuse is I get like Halo. Is it Halo? Is that how you pronounce it? Ice cream. So my if I eat ice cream, I get that, or they get the Carb Smart. Yeah. Ice cream. So I mean that. So I'm not eating my normal like or yeah. cookies and cream ice cream and right. I don't get Oreos because I know I will eat them. I'll get my husband the peanut butter ones because I hate peanut butter. Yeah. So, yeah. I try to get the good stuff, but I just need to stop over snacking on it because that's not any better. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Listen to this. Galatians 5.24 And those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. Galatians 5, 16. But I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. Romans 8, 13. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. There's some ways to just say no. Just say no. Easier said than done, Travis. Is it? Is it? Everybody do this with me that can. I want to hear you say it. Just say, no. You can unmute. Let's do that. It's not that hard. No. 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 Just say no. What did you tell your kids to do when they were little or your grandkids to do in relationship to drugs? Just say no. No. Alcohol. No. Anything that not, we just say no. Okay. So as soon as you say no to uh, yourself, though, what happens when you say no to yourself and you deny yourself? What does the flesh say? You want it more. You want it more. <laughs> what did what did we just read? Walk by the what? Does does did what I say? Did it say? Walk by your fleshly appetites and you will be successful. No. It said walk by the what? Uh, spirit. The, the spirit. Now, are these the fruit of the spirit? The fruit of the spirit are these. Oreos, nutter butters. No. no. French fried potatoes, pizza. Is that is that the out, is that the outcome? Of, is that the outcome of walking in the spirit? Let's let's really examine love, joy, peace, patience, gentleness, goodness, meekness, temperance, and faith. So, how many in the last few days? Be honest. How many in the last few days you became impatient with your weight loss results? How many of you got? Uh, spirit of ingratitude and got hangry and said, I'm starving to death. How many of us got in the pantry and couldn't get out? We said yes to it. So did you know, and I'll try to come to an end, did you know that if you look through our Bible and you look at all those historical places, archaeology, whatever those different 
types of academia is called. They have almost found and uncovered every single place that the Bible mentioned, and they've looked at the artifacts, matching it up with the time period, all but one place. They've pretty much been able to discover every place that the Bible talked about but one place. Do y'all know what that place was? I'll give you a hint. It was the first place talked about in the Bible where humans dwelled. Garden of Eden. That's right. Karen jumped on there too. The Garden of Eden. They, they can't, there's no way. So here's the thing. Why did they get cast out of the Garden of Eden? Because they said yes or because they said no? Yes, because they said yes. They said yes. And immediately, because of that, they were ashamed, they were naked, they hid themselves. They hid themselves, uh, was no longer communing with God. God came looking for them. They ended up being cursed and they got cast out of the Garden of Eden. A place of peace, a place of joy, unspeakable communion with the Lord. All that they had to do to stay in that garden, that amazing utopia, was to say no. That's all they had to do. Y'all, we don't have a serpent. We don't think we do. We kind of do spiritually. We don't have, when we open the fridge, there's not a serpent in there that we can see. There's not one that we can see that's going, hey, I know that you think that it'll take you two days to get back into EFB, but it won't. There, but there really is. There, there's temptation there. And if you would, I'm just going to say no. Anytime we slip up and have that snack accident and we want to get back in that garden. I, we have to, I, I am having such a... We have to say yes to Jesus. He put a sword there, didn't he? A flaming sword, the word. And the only way back into that, that peaceful, restful state, that beautiful place of communion with God, you had to go back through the sword, which is Jesus. So anytime we've slipped up, just say yes to Jesus again and say no to it and get it off your mind. Because like somebody said, I think it was Shanice, the minute you say no, well, your flesh, the appetites of it are going to say yes. But you have the power to shut that down and say no. And you'll get in the habit of saying no. Every time you say no, you're exercising self-discipline and your discipline, your spiritual discipline muscles grow stronger. So you've got a shield. There's some things in our shield that you can say yes to. You can say yes to your water. You can say yes to journaling. You can say yes to delicious. We just went over a whole bunch of them. You can say yes to delicious foods that help you lose weight instead of saying yes to delicious foods that cause you to gain weight. You can say yes to proper portions. You can say yes to proper timing. But everything else, if you want to be successful, you got to say no. And then immediately, that void that's left behind, every time we say no, if, if Eve had have said no, Satan, no, she would have, as she walked away, there's no doubt her flesh would have said, well, but what am I missing out on? What am I missing out on? What am I missing out on? You've got to replace that void with something good your vision, your goals, fellowship with the Lord. And I promise you, if you'll say no more, preaching to the choir, if you'll say no more to the things that are setting you back, if you'll say no more to instant gratification, I believe you'll hear in your spirit more, this is my beloved child in whom I'm well pleased. And then you'll get to really enjoy an abundant life. Nobody here that has eaten a surplus of food, has eaten more than their fair share, can look back and go, I'm better off for that. Never are. We would actually even enjoy food more if we abstain from those things killing us more often. We would actually enjoy our holidays more. But when you're doing it every day anyway, you get where you don't even enjoy it. The very thing that's killing you, you don't even enjoy it. It's a conditioning. 
So today's new diet, just say no today. Tomorrow, we'll worry about tomorrow. Nothing tastes as good as being in a healthy weight feels. Amen, Gail. Any questions, comments, testimonies before we go today? Joan, I didn't mean to clickbait you on that, but. <laughs> Travis, I want to say one thing directed it to Shanice, but for everybody, and we all know this, but just to hear it again. Um, Shanice was talking about she has Halo Top and, and Breyer's um, carb, whatever it is, master or whatever. And, and yeah, and I do all that too. And I haven't had real popcorn, what I consider real popcorn in years. Um, but I keep um, Boom Chicka Pop popcorn in my pantry. But I was eating Boom Chicka Pop popcorn every single night about 9, 9.30. And that's a lot of what put my weight back on when I lost all that weight just before the pandemic. And when I put it back on, that's a lot of where it came from was that popcorn at 9, 930 at night, even though it was good stuff and it was approved. So we have to be careful there, too. And that's that's hard. But, but you know, and I, and I still got some in my pantry and I'll still eat it sometimes if I really want it. But but I don't feel like I've got to have it every night. Yeah, yeah, and and we we can get in those habits, and um, yeah, I've done the same thing with approved food like that, and then I just start thinking, I have to think more about not the taste of it, or I will do it again. And popcorn's a thing for me, so I instead of thinking about the taste, I choose to think about the ramifications. Well, my sleep and recovery won't be as deep. Uh, my body won't be able to metabolize it as quick. I'm going to get some insulin provocation, do, and I've got my body will have to deal with that insulin hormone at night, and I don't want growth hormone in my system uh, at night. Um, just various things that instead of just focusing on what it tastes like, that's why I think it's a good practice before you eat anything to ask yourself what's good about it, bad about it, funny about it. Because if all we do is say it tastes good, we're going to have it. We also got a, what's bad about this. And usually what you'll find is what's bad about it is going to overwhelm what's good about it. Then reconnect to our values. Our, our vow, every one of us here would say our health, our, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, our families, our health, um, enjoying life. All these things are values. I doubt any of us here would say that some salty french fries and ketchup is more valuable than those things that I just mentioned. But we, we our behavior often is as if it is, because we'll choose that over the delayed gratification of these great relationships, more enjoyment in life. Food, eating a surplus of food and eating the wrong foods has never done anything good for me except for giving me a few moments of instant gratification. I'm literally exchanging my birthright and blessing for an inanimate object that has no nutritive value, basically, that tastes good for seconds. It's crazy. Can't speak for you. Speaking for me, I've done it a large part of my life. I sold out my birthright and my blessings. Now, all I can do is do my best, Cheryl, to redeem the time that I have left. That's all I can do. The enemy stands accusing me day of night, day and night of every perceived failure. So I can say, well, it's too late for me to improve. It's never too late. As long as you're still here and breathing and have a heartbeat, God's got an assignment for you. Amen. Take care of that temple. It's the only one you're going to have. Ain't none of us going to be here long enough to see robot bodies. Sorry. Anybody? Travis, yeah. Um, well, to everybody, not just Travis. But one of the things I was thinking of when you said that is, for me, it's almost like you sit in a chair. And especially once you learn a few things of the program, like that, Shanice, you've been on my mind a lot. Now I know why. Um, but 
I hear myself say, well, you know, this is an okay ice cream. And that was my deal is popcorn and ice cream. And you, you know, that's approved. It's okay. I'm eating approved foods, but just like taking the berberine. Um, I just got that last month and it was in my head. Well, I can take this and it'll help overcome those things, but it doesn't take away the calories. And that's the thing is we might be consuming more approved food, but it's not taking away the calories. And then the twisted thought comes in, well, I know how this program works, so I'll be okay in two days, right? I'll shed whatever little bit of increase comes up. I'll get rid of it in two days if I do the right thing. But that's why, you know, I started looking at Shibola last April. And then I think I got my membership in June, but I didn't start really taking it serious until August. And I think, wow, I could have already been at my goal weight if I would have got all of that thinking out of my head a lot sooner. But that's, I think, what Satan did to Eve, right? It's like, you're not really going to die. You know, it, that stuff tastes so good. I mean, popcorn, ice cream, come on. I've learned, I didn't even know Halo Top was out there. Now I do. But, um, you know, how many of us can truly measure it out? Like seriously measure it out and eat it. And then you look at someone like Patricia Hurt, who uses that as a meal episode and you see her serving size with the waffle and I'm eating it as an extra, you know, I'm eating it as I'm going to have one more thing. I'm not, I don't, I, I look at it and think I've, that's probably about a third of a portion. So all of those calories are just taking away our blessing. Well, like you just said, it is seriously, it is what Cheryl, now if you'll unmute again, I didn't know who it was, so I just muted everybody. Go ahead. It's seriously taken away the fact that, you know, we might have all reached our goal a lot sooner if we could get rid of that thinking. And then we're in a much better place to serve the next generation of people who come into Shibola. And um, so I, what I've started doing when I start thinking about that popcorn that's still in there and that halo top that's still in there for my holiday, when I earn it. I go in and I'm looking at myself in the mirror. I'm thinking about that stuff. We bought cake at Easter. And I tell you what, that's what I had my heart set on was I'm eating that cake. And it, some of it's still in the fridge and it's talking to me. Thank it's you. saying, you know, you're going to get it right off. Just one, one little piece is not going to set you back that far. But last night I went in there, I raised my, my shirt up and I looked at my stomach in the mirror. And I started to cry because my stomach looks so much different now than what it did. And then I go in there and I fix myself a cup of hot tea and I put some Splenda in it and I sit down with my Bible in the chair. And I said, I'm going to claim victory over this because no is a complete sentence. I put the period on the end of it and I just said no. So I'm so touched that you're going over this today. Thank you, Travis. <laughs> I'm the Once same again, way. I've noticed, I've noticed that my stomach is like not when I sit down like as bad. And so I'll just keep looking thinking of that whenever I think I'm gonna snack even on good stuff <laughs> yeah and look and looking back at our old photographs that has been you know life altering for me because I have them on my phone and I'll look back at the old photos and I said that's what the buffet which I told Daryl is the hog trough but that's what the buffet did to me and that's what the ice cream did to me and uh, the late night snacking that's what it did to me that's how I got that way and uh, I don't ever want to go back to see that in the mirror again. That was awesome. Um, I'm going to follow before we go while Cheryl's here. I'm going to just follow before she said that I had this on my heart. And I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to do it. But uh, how about this, y'all? Bear with me. I think I can pull this off. Hang, hang in there with me for just a minute. thank you <laughs> oh my goodness it's just so amazing what uh what living this lifestyle and this program will do for all of us every single one of us have the capacity to hit our goal if we just follow it and that includes those holidays amen amen look at the vibrancy the vitality the strength this and and here's what you don't see Okay, y'all, you see a transformation. You see an amazing physical transformation. But what you really seen is something 
that only God sees and only those that walk in the spirit. And this goes for every one of us. You know, you see my transformation. I see some of your transformations. And we go, wow, look at how much weight this person's lost. I don't even know that God sees that. God sees the strength of character. God sees the fruit of the Spirit exhibited, the growth exhibited over that time period. That's the beauty. The beauty is the inner changes, and really it's not even changes. It's who you always were all along, and it begins to manifest because of faith, perseverance, refocusing on the things that are important, you slayed it. And big round of applause for everybody here that has slayed it. It's more important than material wealth, what you're accomplishing. Great job, everybody. We're proud of you, Cheryl. Anybody else? Any comments? Anything? I know I can be a little cheesy sometimes. I'm I'm mushy. Great job. All right. All hearts and minds clear and satisfied. As long as it's fat free cheesy. Amen. Um, online members only. Let's see. Jennifer. I've seen something you asked about napping. Does napping cause you to gain weight? It it does not. Um anytime that we're not expending energy, we're not going to lose body fat as fast if we're not expending energy. I mean, going for a walk burns more calories than napping, but nothing causes us to put on weight except for a surplus of calories. Then if that's partnered with insulin, then we put the weight on two or three times faster. Insulin is a prov provocateur. Uh, you, you will put weight on, body fat on way faster uh, if there's the presence of insulin with those surplus calories. Insulin's actually doing its job. It's a growth hormone. And if you're eating a surplus, then you have extra energy that your body assumes you want to be stored as fat or you wouldn't be eating it. Hope that made sense. Anybody else? Please pray for us. Pray for Shibola. Pray for one another. We appreciate all of you. If I haven't gotten around to thanking somebody that sent a card, some help, it has all helped and continues to help. We appreciate you so much. I'm always running a couple of days behind. Uh, I am planning on doing a couple of challenges. One of them a walking challenge. You could do them both at the same time. One of them a walking challenge and the other one the control alt delete. Got a little behind. Had some challenges to deal with yesterday and, and have some today to deal with. But uh, I try to stay plugged in. You, We're here with you. Myself, Lara, Lisa, and other team members. We're here with you. All right. Hi, Travis. I just want to say hi. I came in late, so I can't wait based on the comments and what I came in on to see the replay of this. So, yeah, it's it like it, it was good. It was. And, and anytime you have anybody here, you can see what Cheryl's meant to the program. Uh, if you have transformation photos, please send them in. We'll use that in class to inspire others. That really is a type of ministry. This is a platform that we all can use to inspire people. You know, I spent the first 20 years of my journey trying to inspire people in a fun way to look good naked. I want to spend the rest of the time that God's given me to inspire them to, to look good on the inside. That, that's what I want. That's the desire of my heart now. All right, we'll close out in prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in the earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day, Lord, our daily bread. Forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Thank y'all for a good class today. 
We'll talk to you tomorrow. We've got four classes tomorrow. So check out class times, and I hope I see y'all in at least one of them. Bye, everybody.